Hello and welcome to PTC Express Video Tip of the Month. My name is Leo Green. Have you ever been developing a part and it occurs to you, gosh, this part really needs to be two, but there's significant contour associated with them that needs to be shared among these two parts. Well, this is typically dealt with using a top-down skeleton-like approach. But you know, sometimes you just want to do it in a real simple, straightforward fashion. So today we're going to be discussing simple part contour sharing in Pro Engineer Wildfire 4.0. Let's jump right in. Here's a part that we might be developing. You recognize that the top contour here is really rather significant. And we might even have a sketch in this part already that describes how we want to access the interior of this component, perhaps with an extra door or panel that re that's removable. Think of it maybe as a, a battery cover or something along those lines. Well, anytime there's two parts that come together in Pro Engineer, that requires an assembly. And so let's make an assembly. So we'll make an assembly and we'll call it maybe basic, uh, basic contour. Okay, first what we'll do is we'll add that particular part. So we'll go to in session, servo part, we'll put that in perhaps the default location, middle mouse. So here's that part and then we're going to add a new part. So create a new part, maybe call this one part B. We'll copy from existing, the default standard would be fine. And we'll also add that part at the default. So now we have two parts one called part B and the other one called servo cover and what we'll do is we'll make the part B called active click once pick again control C control V and we'll start picking up some of the surfaces that might make up this part okay now in addition we want to copy that curve so what we'll do control C control V middle mouse button and let's take a look at what this part might look like. Okay, so the part has the surface, it has the curves, and, and that's about all we need to develop this part. So let's quickly add what we need. We'll add a cut that goes through this surface, picking this quilt. We'll sketch that cut, sketch on the top plane. And what we'll use, we'll just use edge as a loop and we'll pick this curve set. Call the sketch done. Going in that direction would be fine. Right click to get through all. Flip the direction arrow and now we have just that one section. And While it's still selected we'll go to edit and thicken. Give it a thickness maybe uh, 190 middle mouse button and now we've got some thickness. And while we're here let's do something else too add some rounds those might be a half inch or so control key to pick up more than one edge and we'll uh, we'll go around and pick up a few middle mouse button call that done okay so now we've got a new part we'll go back to the assembly and there's the assembly with the two parts in it now and so now what we need to do is go to edit component operations and on the component operations menu, we want to do a cutout. Picking this part or the base part, middle mouse, put the perform the cutout too. Picking then the access part or part B, middle mouse button, and we'll leave it as reference. So if we open this part now, you'll see it's got the hole in it, just like we'd expect. But there is a problem. Everything looks really cool right now. And you'll notice that the regen thinks it's fine. But the next time I regenerate, and watch what happens. You'll see I get a I get a big time feature fail. And why is that? Well, the surface that I copied has now got this gaping hole in it. So how is it that you can f fix that problem and keep going? Well, watch this. I'm just going to go ahead and, and delete. and uh, I'm going to go also into the servo cover part and delete the cutout. Alright, so now if I regen, what do we get? Everything's back essentially the way we, we were hoping it would be, but the original part does not have the clearance hole in it to make room for the newly created part. 
So what is it that you need to do? Well, watch watch this. If I go to this part, open this part, and I at the at this part level, I pick a couple of surfaces, control C, control V, and I pick up a couple more, and I make a copy of these surfaces here at the part level. I've now established a particular a particular point in the model tree. So as the next feature, the cutout comes along, it won't distort or alter this particular quilt. So let's go back now to the assembly. And we'll ask for part B, this particular copy of part B. We're going to edit its definition. And instead of picking up these individual surfaces, we're going to remove them. And we're going to right click until we get the copy. And now we've got the entire quilt, less references also. So what's the difference? If I go and open this part, this part looks exactly the same. The copy of the curve is still there, the extrude is still happy, the thicken is still happy. I deleted the rounds, so let's, let's put the rounds back on. Huh? Pick up a couple of round edges. open that up a little bit. Middle mouse button. Let's go take a look at the assembly now. And again, we'll go to Component Operations, Cutout, picking the base part, middle mouse button, picking the secondary part, middle mouse button, and adding it as a reference. So now we've got a cutout, and if we go now to our base part, open that up by itself, we can take this quilt and hide it. And there is our cut. Let's go to the assembly just to double check. Regenerate, 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 no problems. Okay, so now you can add all kinds of different features. You can provide clearance, you can add steps and things so that your battery cover has uh, latches or whatever else you want it to do. To, uh, to snap in place. Um, I hope a little, of the, a little of this made sense to you. I imagine there's plenty of people out there who have run across a situation where everything was fine, but all of a sudden I regenerated it and the thing fell apart. Well, here you go. Again, my name is Leo Green. I hope a little of this made sense to you, and I hope to see you again at another PTC Express. Thanks for watching. So long now.